Hello everyone. I am very fortunate to be standing on this ground before you right now with this beautiful motorcycle behind me. If you haven't already recognized which bike this is, I'm very happy to tell you that that is the new Flux Primo. Let's start out by explaining the status of this Flux Primo. This bike is a development mule, which means that Flux is using this bike to test characteristics and develop software before moving to a more refined pre-production model. Flux sees themselves as a powertrain company, using their skill sets to innovate where it matters, which to them is in the battery and drivetrain. Of course, they also care about chassis, but their mindset is that frame geometry and flex characteristics have largely been solved, and therefore, it's less of a hurdle. So this production mule is utilizing a massive 450 volt, seven kilowatt hour battery. The bike is producing roughly 80 horsepower. Knock knock, Starkvarg, you have a new neighbor. It's got an aluminum chassis, currently utilizing a KYB SSS fork and an Olin's TTX shock. Brembo brakes, and a super unique virtual clutch slash regen lever, which we'll focus on during the ride. And what better time than right now? Okay, so startup procedure on the Flex Primo. You've got this option there. It says, hey, Tucker, pretty cool. And you just hold down the mode button for one second. Uh, then it's ready to go. This is currently set up in just one mode. So we're running full power. 80 horsepower. If you're wondering why there's track tape all over the place, this test track in Croatia recently had an absolute mutter cross country race. <laughs> and I'm riding the aftermath of that. So conditions were rough and rutted to say the least. But once I got a little more familiar with the bike, learned some lines and found whatever flow I could muster up, I was able to get a little more speed going and actually ride the Primo. So I'm sure you want to know what this claimed 80 horsepower feels like, and it's insane. But it's also kind of not. The manner in which the power is delivered on this Primo is incredibly subtle and smooth. The power feels abundant, but it's also extremely mellow for the first half of the throttle. There is an obvious threshold though, and it's right around half throttle. At half throttle and beyond, the Primo absolutely screams. And I personally like that balance. The best comparison I could give would be like an electric 300 two-stroke, like the KTM XCW. It rolls on slow and has kind of a mild luggable feel down low. But once you wake it up, it quickly reminds you that it is a ferocious machine with more than enough ponies to humble you. One of the biggest surprises to me was my appreciation for what Flux calls the virtual clutch slash regenerative braking lever. When accelerating, the lever acts as a digital clutch, which reduces power while you're on the throttle. Once the throttle position is closed, the lever then acts as a regen brake to help slow the bike down by way of the motor. While this riding environment wasn't really conducive to my need for a clutch, I did start using the regen lever as somewhat of a third brake when I needed to reduce speed, and it quickly became a really positive attribute of the bike. It allowed me to slow down easier in right-hand turns when I prefer to keep my right foot neutral on the pegs, and in several cases, allowed me to forego the brakes altogether and let the bike decelerate solely by way of the regen lever. And now, I want one of these levers on every bike in the fleet. 
The chassis on this bike has a surprisingly similar feel to some gas bikes that I've ridden in the past. I won't outright say it, but if you were to combine the colors of these two bikes I'm thinking of, you would end up with the color purple. And I'll leave it at that. To me, the bike feels really stable and confident, but leans toward the side of not being a super quick turning bike, which honestly took me a short bit to get used to. But I think you Blue Crew riders would immediately feel right at home. And once I got familiar with that steering feeling, I really appreciated how predictable the bike feels. In terms of suspension, this setup was very oversprung and over valve for me, but the KYB SSS fork feels exactly how you would expect it to. Awesome. The harder I pushed it, the better it worked. And although the Olin's shock will likely be replaced by KYB for the production model, the suspension helped this bike feel super balanced and confidence inspiring. Yes, we all want to know the battery range. There wasn't a real accurate way to gauge distance on the bike, but from my extremely rough estimations, I would expect the current model to be on par with a Stark Varg. Maybe better, but I can't quite verify that from this ride. Flux did reveal to me that the next prototype model will have a battery just shy of 8 kilowatt hours at the same weight, which would be impressive, but we shall see. Speaking of impressed, this part was the most eye-opening to me. The team at Flux brought along their monolith supercharger, which is made in-house, requires three-phase power, and is claimed to charge this 7 kilowatt hour battery pack from 10% to 80% in 25 minutes. We tested that claim and plugged the bike in after I had run it down to 14% battery remaining. In roughly 15 minutes time, the battery had charged back up to an impressive 62%. I myself was due for a 15 minute break, and in that time, the bike had plenty more energy to go back out and ride longer. It's unknown if this monolith charger would ever be a product for sale with the Primo, but regardless, this completely opened my eyes to the potential of quick charging these high voltage bikes. All in all, this is a super promising offering from Flux. There's still a way to go before it's a true production bike, but Flux's ballpark is to have a production model by the end of 2024, with bike deliveries starting in the fourth quarter of 2025. The target price is 13,000 USD, and at the time of filming this, a refundable reservation of 50 euros locks in a price of 12,000 USD when the production bike is ready. So that is the first review of the Flux Primo, and thanks for watching it right here on ECR.